It has happened three times this month, children drowning in backyard pools, and it's always worthy of taking a closer look at what you can do to prevent these tragedies. News 12 Long Island's Virginia Huey has the story. May 22nd, a two-year-old West Babylon girl is found face down in her backyard pool and dies days later. Never think like something like this is going to happen so close to home. June 12th, a three-year-old Roslyn Heights boy drowns in his grandparents' pool in Laurel Hollow. He can't swim. And only five days later, another backyard pool drowning takes the life of an 11-year-old boy in Bay Shore. As these recent tragedies show, it takes less time for a child to drown than it will take me to tell you this story about pool safety. But it's a story worth repeating to help prevent your child from becoming the next statistic. Adult supervision is the number one priority. Matthew Crimmins of the American Red Cross says it's a message parents need to focus on. Never take your eyes off your kids. Because children uh, look at water as a toy. They are drawn to the water. Other steps to keep your children safe. Install a fence with a lock that's at least four feet high completely around the pool. Use a motion detector pool alarm that sounds off if someone falls into the pool. Also have a reaching pole by the pool in case of an emergency. You can easily reach it out to a victim that they can grab hold of and at least keep themselves above water. But remember, no gadget or device can substitute constant adult supervision. That's a message Leah Fono, mom of four-year-old Liam, takes to heart. He's in swimming lessons okay. and I feel that's about the only thing I could do at this point besides watch him like a hawk. Virginia Huey, News 12, Long Island. The American Red Cross also says parents should have CPR training in case of any emergency. Virginia has more about this story on her blog. Just log on to news12.com and click on the blogs tab.